And now his voice actor left. He's like, I I'm not going to voice act it the second time around. We didn't program it to do that. For whatever reason. Is this the same one? あ、聞こえる。なあ。なあ。今変な声聞こえたか。聞こえてないけど。ここ何かいる。早く。でよ。Well, he's not a bad ghost. Okay. It's like when you open the door the first time, he gets pissy, but any other time, he just doesn't seem to care. Oh, see that random... It's, it's like a crime scene, isn't it? Look at that on the floor and also in the stall. It's kind of just like, you know, we saw what happened in chapter one, but it's kind of like these, it's just weird. It's like chapter two comes after chapter one, but it also comes before chapter one. It's a bit, well, actually, we don't know how much time passed between, you know, when Yui, you know, got that um, cupboard or whatever dropped on her and when Yoshiki and Ayumi decided to, you know, search for her. So we don't know how much time might have passed since then, but still. What's this? It's a sink. We slowly rubbed against the wall, but they're not clattering. Clattering. Oh, it seems stained, but with what? Oh, this looks like a person. Somebody, somebody died here. I can hear a voice. Oi. That's delayed, wasn't it? Whoa. Didn't sound like he was shedding a sicko, to be honest. Shinozaki! Damn it all! What the hell is going on around here? Let me just consult the walkthrough a moment here. Yeah. Alright, that's simple enough. Let's ignore Ayumi. Oh, we no, Well, Ayumi, you look a little slightly creepy. I don't know what choice to go with. Cut the crap! <laughs> Did he literally just say that in English? The hell?
You've gone full Higurashi on me, Ayumi. What are you gonna say? That poor girl, she's lost her mind and she'll never get it back. Possession is a frightful thing. To have your thoughts pushed deep down into the pit of your soul and someone else's take their place. There is something we can do for her, but I'm not gonna do it because we're going for the bad ending. Shirazaki, shouldn't just walk away from her like this. Man, I'm really scared of her right now. I wonder what did this to her. I wonder why my voice actor never shows up. Shinuma. Yabe. Nanda kono kimuri wa dete koi benjo kara. Hit it into Bakyo again, will we? Uh, well, no, sir. Then I warn you about what happened if I caught you smoking again. Spulchin, that's what. Sorry. Well, not really. You're a real problem, child, you know that? Why do you even come to school in the first place? <laughs> You're so by your parents living on your own, got no friends, never go to class. Because you hate school doesn't give you the right to throw fits and raise your ruckus all the time, mister. You're clearly not having any fun here, right? So why don't you just drop out? I really don't get it. It's not like you're trying to get into college. With your life as it is, the thought probably hasn't even crossed your mind. Uh huh. Wish I could ask your parents what they think of having a no good kid like you in the family. But they've never once show their face around here. Not since the very first parent-teacher conference we ever held. Wonder if they'd be embarrassed. <laughs> My parents are not exactly proud of me, shall we say. Eh, that's what, not, not what I mean. I'm thinking in a big picture here, they're clearly just not good parents. If I had kids of my own, you better believe I would have, wouldn't be half as lax with them as yours, officer, over you. Problem is, people are having kids when they're way too young. Before they become robber adults, they're popping out babies of their own. And bad parents raise bad kids. That's why there are so many brats like you in this world. He's right about one thing. There's no reason for me to stay in this school. It really is pointless. I should just beat the crap out of this jackass and drop out. The other thing, as long as they pay school taxes on their tuition, they're good mummies and daddies. Well, it was flash, they're not. Ha 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 what's with that look? I've never heard a teacher before. Ah oh, well, first time for everything. Tsubasa-sensei. Where's my microphone? Oh, there is. It's just like, because now it's like nearly 8 p.m. And you know, since it's August, it gets dark early. Now I've got my light on. So it's like pitch black. My microphone's black. So it's kind of blending into the darkness. Oh, Shazaki, exactly. you got great eyes, you know that? Always so clear and focused. Ha 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 ha. We instructors like your kind best of all. If you ever have a problem, you come talk to me about it, okay? Ha ha ha. Why is it always the gym teachers that are the creepiest ones? <laughs> and he even laughed himself. You know, all of this would be playing out on screen rather than a blank screen. Because it does actually have them as sprites in a hallway. But I guess in the original version they didn't because, I don't know, maybe they are like, we'd have to freaking make a sprite for the gym guy and we don't want the gym teacher to have a sprite, so fuck him. Let's just have it blank screen. That guy's the worst. Thanks and shit. You're not really any better. Huh? You were thinking about hitting him just now, weren't you? What sad fate it would be to get kicked out of school of a pathetic excuse for a teacher like him. 
and you'd regret it later. You know you would. No matter how much pain in the ass it may be. And no matter how you think it'll turn out in the end. Just stay in school, bite your tongue and make it to graduation. Ah, uh, sorry, whenever I give an impact in speech like that, I always find myself tearing up a little. Kishinuma from class 1-5, right? Yeah. I'm Shinazaki from class 1-3, sorry about it like that. Well, they're not even in the same class, but they were in that. Maybe it was because they're all friends, so they all kind of like gathered around, or maybe they all got the same homeroom teacher or whatever. Uh, don't worry about it. Later. Hey, when you told him the vice principal was calling. <laughs> I was lying, of course. <laughs> so Yoshiki kind of cares quite a bit about Ayumi. They bond quite a lot as the series progresses as well. But... Yeah, it feels like of the group, it's like Yoshiki, for whatever reason, has some respect for uh, Satoshi. And he also seems to respect and kind of like Ayumi. The other characters, he's just kind of like... I suppose he cares about them as well, but he cares more about those two than any other characters. It's like, you know, I don't know, they've all got like... It's like Naomi and Seiko are best friends, and they're all friends, but it's obvious Naomi cares more about say, Seiko than she would say Mayu, who we haven't seen since the beginning of the game, you know? But anyways, never actually thanked her for what she did that day, for crying on my behalf. And I swore to myself, as soon as I realized we were trapped here. I protect her no matter what happens. What the fuck she doing up there? This must be a test to see if I really meant that no matter what happens, parts. You know, you've got to be kidding me. Ooh. Oh, come on. I mean, I know you were pushed down the stairs, but it can't have been that fatal, right? I've fallen downstairs before, but then again, I've never been pushed forcefully downstairs before, so maybe, maybe there's a difference. You must have slammed his head pretty bad. In addition to multiple broken bones all throughout his head and neck, and Shiki's ribcage shattered on impact and pierced his lungs as he convulsed and writhed in an ever-growing puddle of his own blood and internal fluids. His vision hastily grew dark. The last thing he saw was a figure with wide, empty eyes and an unnatural smile stretched across the length of its face, rocking slowly back and forth in admiration of its handiwork. Ayumi was clearly very pleased with herself. This is where a CG would be perfect, but the game doesn't have those. Maybe I'll find the one that they use in the PSP version. That is, if they actually did use a CG for that point. Which they probably would, I'd imagine. Game over trip 2, wrong end for your 4. We're nearly there, just one more wrong end than the normal ending. And we finally be done with chapter 2. And we'll even get an achievement. Actually, I think we should have an achievement any second now. Wrong end! Because that was the last one I didn't have, I think. Like, when I played it originally. So, achievement, yeah, there it is. Achievement unlocked, impact! We will see some achievements throughout this let's play. Got all the endings now, but we haven't seen the memoir one in this let's play, so we're going for that next. Let's go to the infirmary. Outside of it. 
So a moment while I consult a walkthrough just to be 100% sure what I'm supposed to be doing. Alrighty then. Let us go to somewhere. I forget where, but somewhere. And actually... Now that's unnecessary, so never mind. Forget that. We're going upstairs. Bloody blue, 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 blue. She ate an eyeball. This is completely unnecessary, really, but you know, oh, she's she's grinning. She has slasher smile. I like the way he pronounces that. Let's leave this place. She does say Seiko. I mean, I could hear the first bit of the way, like, yeah, but it's so high pitched. But I could also hear the core. That's creepy. Shinozaki! Daijoukayo, Shinozaki. Shinozaki! Well, there it is. Still hits us though. What? Really, the only difference that makes is nothing, really. It's just like it's just like you can either go about it in a kind of caring way or in a kind of what the fuck snap out of it kind of way. But they've essentially lead the same way. Girl, she'll lose her mind and she'll never get it back. Position is a frightful thing to hide your thoughts, have your thoughts pushed deep down into a pit of your soul. Someone else take their place. Well, we're gonna do something about it this time. Amy is staring at you. No, she isn't. She's staring the opposite way. 
as if transfixed, or maybe she's looking sideways with those creepy eyes. With an unnaturally wide smile stretched across her face. <laughs> she is literally staring in the opposite direction. Um, why is you always have to be facing the wrong way? I want to see, see a creepy little animation, but from the front. No, well, we couldn't get to see it, but what we gotta do is we gotta go back in here. After confronting her and all that. Uh, my alarm's going off, can you hear it? What the hell? The store is pitch black inside. And my alarm's going off! God, that, that alarm is like so many times... It's gone off so many times where I'd be like... It'd be ringing in my ears even when it's not playing. It's just so loud, man. It's an effective alarm as a result, of course. Balance the microphone here. Balance is key. There's a dark stain on the floor in the shape of a person's body. I must feel like there's someone here. Give me the creeps. Shinozaki. Like I'm losing my mind. Why is this happening to us? And now we're gonna get the same scene, but it's in a different Cinema. location here, so you know. Him reflecting on this won't lead to him getting knocked down the stairs. And it also makes sense more also now, because we're actually in the toilets and he's re Call in the case where the teacher bust him for smoking in the toilet stall. We don't care, because we're already gone for this. Yoshiki is, you know, the standard delinquent. He's far more interesting than Satoshi, but yeah, he's a delinquent. Oh, oh, Incho, Nanda. Even as a sinister laugh, man. Yeah, he is the worst. He's so bad that he doesn't even appear on screen. Actually, fair to what she did that day, for quite on my behalf. And I swore to myself as soon as I realized we were trapped here, that I'd protect her no matter what happens. This must be a test to see if I really meant that no matter what happens, Pot. At least she can't throw you down the stairs in this place. Shinozaki. Oh, 
篠崎クラスのやつら見つけて全員でここを出るんだろお前がそんなんじゃ意味ねえんだよシノバ、わ、わ、わ、シノザキ、よ。今、え、シノフリンスバックウッチガンフ、ウッドゴフドホール。モトトノコ。Voice acting sometimes comes in before the lines appear. So, what are you saying? So far, all the cults we've found in here have been people we've never met before. That stain was left behind by someone who really looks to us. Someone whose mind was completely filled with the pain and agony of death. The next thing I knew I was in your arms and you would squeeze the life out of me. はい。I was scared that the pain was just so excruciating. <laughs> Calm down, Shinazaki. It wasn't you. You're still alive. <laughs> My voice actor is not here, though. <sighs> well, we've searched the whole building. Siri really is not going to be found. Maybe we should head back to the classroom. Yeah, that's probably best. No Satoshi or the others, though. You know, I think it's a different chapter where where we get, like, the stain on the wall thing. Because it feel like this chapter is near its end, and it kind of feel weird if it went on any longer than it is. It wouldn't fall, you know? Ghost girl. When others have your own, you seem suspect to me. Maybe I was wrong. I don't know. I want to get the bad end first before we go to the normal. Ah, shit, Ghost Boy's back. Ghost boy, you can't walk for shit. This recording's gone on quite a while, I gotta say. Looks like she hasn't come back yet. I believe she'd still be out looking for her next shift. She'd be in here somewhere. Wait, maybe. If read in order, I'm pretty sure. So, be here somewhere. I am confused. Unless I forgot to read the fall form in the safe file. Oh, I know it's right here. 
victim's memoirs, five of five. Read that shit. If you are reading this, allow me to forewarn you. There is no hope of rescue. There is nothing to be gained. Endless wandering and endless torture is the nature of this place. I succumbed to my hunger and thirst. Began nibbling on that corpse again. There is no flavor, no sensation. Just meat and fluid to seek my empty belly. I promised I would not desecrate your body anymore, but I broke that promise. Please, forgive me. Oh my god, Shinozaki. <laughs> that fucking escalated, didn't it? So it ends up, the twist being that, like, Yoshiki ends up doing the same thing somehow because it was cursed or something. But my god, what did. <coughs> hell was in my mouth. Tastes like blood, but... Ah! No, it can't be. Shit is like here! Shit is like here! This is definitely her, but why? Who the hell did this to you? Ah! Oh, was it? I'll make them pay! Shinozaki's Testament. It's a yellowed school flyer, presumably taken off the wall somewhere along the way. What message has been hastily scribbled in pen on the reverse side? きっと捕まえ。この遺書を読む人がいたら、あいつを捕まえてください。私を殺して食べたの。This is definitely the the grossest ending so far. What I want to know though is, because it kind of feels like it almost implies in a way that maybe the corpse and the, all these notes scattered around was really like from the future and Yoshiki and Ayumi and all that. But I don't think that's the case. I think it's probably like someone else did that. And then just like, whoever reads the notes the conclusion ends up doing the exact same thing. For whatever God knows reason, it's, well, it's a curse, isn't it? Game over, chapter two, wrong end four four. The most morbid of all. When you died... Well, didn't show Yoshiki getting killed or anything, but Ayumi, she did. She did in the most unpleasant of ways. Do -do 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 
continue, but do it right this time. So yeah, don't read all five notes to conclusion unless you want to get that bad in. Giddy conversation and laughter can be heard whirling out from the infirmary. Uh, <laughs> My homework teacher is the best, but I guess you feel the same way about yours too, huh? <laughs> Sawada! Hey, snap out of it! Since what of it's us, okay? No, she sighs. It's like a kitchen woman. <laughs> Can you stand? Come on, we're right here. Oh, I'm okay, but it's not loud. You really aren't bad kids. Ah. Just speak through some horrible experiences, you'll read this and you'll see what I mean. Heavenly Post, four children abducted, follow-up report. The brutal shocking deaths of the recently kidnapped grade schoolers have now been traced back to the hands of the instructor found in the room with them. The scissors he held are confirmed to have been used to cut out the victim's tongues, ultimately leading to death through excessive bleeding or choking. Yeah, that's... yeah. One of the victims even had the majority of her head slowly and methodically removed. This cranial mass was found on the floor next to her body. Gee, I wonder which one of these two ghosts it could be. Oh, could it be you? No, it's gotta be you. No, it's not you. The Heavenly Hosts elementary students pictured here are the four who were found in that basement room. Of those children, one was when investigators arrived at the scene of the crime, she was mud. Stuff. The newspaper's torn at this point, the bottom half of the article is missing. It says like, oh, we don't want to give you all plot points at once, you know? It's one at a time. These ghosts have the same faces and uniforms. Children in these photographs. The ghost that was chasing us on the first floor earlier is one of them too. I can't just ignore these poor souls. I'm going to stay with them. <laughs> I don't think that's a good idea, Suzumoto. You really need to get out of here. Get out of this room. <laughs> Suzumoto, you have to stop this. Don't let your emotions get the better of you. Uh-oh. Oh, stop! Hey, what's going on? It is like there! Damn it, what the hell did they do? Come on, play! <laughs> well, the cards just kind of blocked off. Yeah, not really that much use there, is it? I feel like I'm freezing. Can't even touch her, much less get her now. So what the hell do we do? I don't know, but we have to do something. We have to. Oh boy. <laughs> well, if someone's nose is bleeding, you gotta point it out. I didn't say anything and just let it trip. But it's not, it's like, it's not Konnichiwa, that's good afternoon. I mean, it is the generic way, just like, when it's like, oh, in Japanese, hello, Konnichiwa. Oh, that's good afternoon. There are various ones. It's the evening right now as I'm recording, so it's Konbanwa, bitch. 
Kind of thing of it. It's like they were at the end of school, a school day, so that'd be kind of closer to the evening than afternoon, right? Maybe. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's still time for Kamichiwa for them. But it's Konbanwa for me. And God, well, yeah, it would be Konbanwa as well, probably. Whenever this gets uploaded, because I upload during the night usually. She's got eyes like a dead fish. You know what, we didn't get to go back and check the podium thing just to see, like, I don't think it really adds anything different to it, to be honest. Because when it goes to the next chapter, it's not like your choices carry over or anything like that. That's right, where, where you brought here against your will too. I can't say I recognize your uniform. Actually, I died here quite a while ago. I came in search of someone very important to me, you see. Hello? Your name wouldn't happen to be Naho, would it? It is. Who's that? That school paranormal is Naho Sayonaki. Can't pronounce the name. I think she was on TV receiving some kind of award last year. She's an author, right? She's also pretty well known for a community with spirits. And has a popular homepage with lots of information on paranormal studies and occultism. I'm a big fan of yours, Miss Sanoki. I'm on your website all the time. That's very flattering, though I'm afraid you won't be seeing any more updates from me. That posting was about the Sachiko Ever After Charm. I've been wondering what happened to you since then. I never imagined it was anything like this, though. Hey, sorry to interrupt. But, did you say you came here in search of someone? Yes. So you came here of your own volition. Purpose. There's a way to do that? That's not something I can talk about. I'm sorry. What? The greater concern right now is your friend. Uh, that's right. Do you, do you have any idea what we can do to save her? Before I died here, I searched high and low for any means of escape. In the process, I learned that these closed spaces were given the form of Heavenly Oaks Elementary School through the sorrow and agony of its victims. Victims of an incident that occurred 30 years before our time. Four children kidnapped with broken bodies later found in this very building. Those children are the ones giving shape to this nexus. The four kids pictured in that newspaper article. It sure seems like it. Unfortunately, this place took its toll on me, and I died before I was able to make it my escape. But the key seems to lie with those children. If they can put me put to rest, there just might be a way out of here. Without all that sorrow and agony to sustain them, these closed spaces would start to break down. All this pointless suffering would come to an end, and we'd really be released from this hell. That's my theory, anyway. Yeah, but put them to rest. How the hell do we do that? Give them closure, of course. What they lack in any is any is any remorse or regret from the one who killed them. The one who killed them, are you saying? The murderer is here in the school, yes. Seriously? How are we supposed to get someone like that to express remorse? Where would we even begin? <laughs> you need to do whatever you can, and do it quickly. If you don't, those two spirits are going to hurt your friend. We will, we will, we'll think of something. I, I guess the first order of business is actually finding the killer. Hey, Shinazaki, hold up. I don't know much about you as an author or a paranormal researcher. I'm gonna take you on your word anyway. Right now, I'm just grateful for any lead at all, so thanks. Chapter still going?
And bloody hell, this is a long chapter. You. Oi. Daijobu ka? She's acting normally, but I don't know. I think she's starting to snap under the pressure. She's okay. She needs to get out of this place, or she could be in real trouble. Damn it, why is there no exits? Why is this chapter still going on? It's like, don't tell me that this whole quest is going to be in this chapter as well that I'm thinking of. Because if it is, this is going to be a long, drawn-out chapter. And it's already pretty lengthy. I mean, I told you, the later chapters are much, much, you know, longer than the, uh, uh, the, uh, the, the yes, um, first chapter was. But I think I've been recording long enough. Or have I? Let's check. Yeah. <laughs> so, I'll call it part there. I'll also look up a uh, more detailed walkthrough just to get an idea of how long this chapter actually is. Because I forget. Oh, uh, well, see you next time, viewers. See you next time.